AES-3 also known as AES -EBU, is a standard for the exchange of digital audio signals between professional audio devices. An AES-3 signal can carry two channels of PCM audio over several transmission media including balanced lines, unbalanced lines, and optical fiber. AES-3 was jointly developed by the Audio Engineering Society and the European Broadcasting Union the standard was first published in 1985 and was revised in 1992 and 2003. AES-3 has been incorporated into the International Electrotechnical Commission standard IEC 60958, and is available in a consumer-grade variant known as SPDIF. History and development The development of standards for digital audio, as used to interconnect both professional and domestic audio equipment, began in the late 1970s in a joint effort between the Audio Engineering Society and the European Broadcasting Union, and culminated in the publishing of AES-3 in 1985. Early on, the standard was frequently known as AES-EBU. Both AES and EBU versions of the standard exist. Variants using different physical connections are specified in IEC 60958. These are essentially consumer versions of AES-3 for use within the domestic hi-fi environment using connectors more commonly found in the consumer market. These variants are commonly known as SPDIF. The AES-3 standard has been revised in 1992 and 2003 and is published in AES and EBU versions. Worldwide, it is the most commonly used method for digitally interconnecting audio equipment. Hardware connections The AES-3 standard parallels Part 4 of the international standard IEC 60958. Of the physical interconnection types defined by IEC 60958, three are in common use. Topic. IEC 60958 Type 1 — Balanced — XLR Type 1 connections use balanced, 3-conductor, 110-ohm twisted pair cabling with XLR connectors. Type 1 connections are most often used in professional installations and are considered the AES-3 standard connector. The hardware interface is usually implemented using minus 422 rupees line drivers and receivers. Topic IEC 60958 Type 2 Unbalanced RCA Type 2 connections use unbalanced 2 conductor 75 ohm coaxial cable with RCA connectors. Type 2 connections are used most often in consumer audio installations and are often called coaxial SPDIF connections. Topic IEC 60958 Type 3 Optical Fiber FO5 TOSLINK Type 3 optical connections use optical fiber, usually plastic but occasionally glass. With FO5 connectors, which are more commonly known by their Toshiba brand name, TOSLINK. Like Type 2, Type 3 optical connections are also used in consumer audio installations and are often called optical SPDIF connections. Other connections The AES 3 ID standard defines a 75 ohm BNC electrical variant of AES 3. This uses the same cabling, patching and infrastructure as analog or digital video, and is thus common in the broadcast industry. AES-3 digital audio format can also be carried over an asynchronous transfer mode network. The standard for packing AES-3 frames into ATM cells is AES-47. For information on the synchronization of digital audio structures, see the AES-11 standard. The ability to insert unique identifiers into an AES-3 bitstream is covered by the AES-52 standard. Topic. Relation to SPDIF The precursor of the IEC 60958 Type 2 specification was the Sony – Philips Digital Interface, or SPDIF. 
S, PDIF and AES3 are similar in many ways and are interchangeable at the protocol level, but at the physical level they specify different electrical signaling levels and impedances, which may be significant in some applications. Topic. Protocol The low-level protocol for data transmission in AES-3 and SPDIF is largely identical, and the following discussion applies for SPDIF, except as noted, AES-3 was designed primarily to support stereo PCM encoded audio in either DAT format at 48 kHz or CD format at 44.1 kHz. No attempt was made to use a carrier able to support both rates, instead, AES-3 allows the data to be run at any rate, and encoding the clock and the data together using biphase mark code BMC. Each bit occupies one time slot. Each audio sample of up to 24 bits is combined with four flag bits and a synchronization preamble which is four time slots long to make a subframe of 32 time slots. Two subframes A and B, normally used for left and right audio channels, make a frame. Frames contain 64 time slots and are produced once per sample time. This determines the clock rate. At the highest level, each 192 consecutive frames are grouped into an audio block. While samples repeat each frame time, metadata is only transmitted once per audio block. At the default 48 kHz frame rate, there are 250 audio blocks per second, and 3,072 kilobits per second with a biphase clock of 6.144 MHz. The 32 time slots of each subframe are assigned as follows. Topic. Synchronization preamble This is a specially coded preamble that identify the subframe and its position within the audio block. They are not normal BMC encoded data bits, although they do still have zero DC bias. Three preambles are possible X or M, 111,102 if previous time slot was 0, 00011012 if it was 1. Equivalently, 100,100,112 NRZI encoded, marks a word for channel A left, other than at the start of an audio block. Y or W, 111,001,002 if previous time slot was 0, 00011012 if it was 1. Equivalently, 100,101,102 NRZI encoded, marks a word for channel B right. Z or B, 111,010,002 if previous time slot was 0, 00011112 if it was 1. Equivalently, 100,111,002 NRZI encoded, marks a word for channel A left at the start of an audio block, they are called X, Y, Z in the AES-3 standard, and M, W, B in IEC 958 and AES extension. The 8-bit preambles are transmitted in time allocated to the first four time slots of each subframe time slots 0 to 3, any of the three marks the beginning of a subframe. X or Z marks the beginning of a frame, and Z marks the beginning of an audio block. 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, time slots blank, underscore, blank, underscore, blank, underscore, blank, underscore, preamble X blank, underscore, 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 underscore underscore underscore, 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 blank, underscore, preamble Y Blank, underscore, underscore, blank, underscore, blank, blank, underscore, preamble Z, underscore, 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 all zero bits BMC encoded. Underscore 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 all one bit BMC encoded zero one two three zero one two three time slots in two channel AES three the preambles form a pattern of ZYX YX YX Y, but it is straightforward to extend this structure to additional channels, more subframes per frame, each with a Y preamble, as is done in the MADI protocol. Topic 
Channel status word As stated before there is one channel status bit in each subframe, making one 192-bit word for each channel in each block. This 192-bit word is usually presented as 192 eighths equals 24 bytes. The contents of the channel status word are completely different between the AES-3 and SPDIF standards, although they agree that the first channel status bit byte 0 bit 0 distinguishes between the two. In the case of AES-3, the standard describes in detail how the bits have to be used. Here is a summary of the channel status word. Byte 0, basic control data, sample rate, compression, emphasis, Bit 0, a value of 1 indicates this is AES-3 channel status data. 0 indicates this is SPDIF data. Bit 1, a value of 0 indicates this is linear audio PCM data. A value of 1 indicates other usually non-audio data. Bits 2 to 4, indicates the type of signal preemphasis applied to the data. Generally set to 1002 none. Bit 5, a value of 0 indicates that the source is locked to some unspecified external time sink. A value of 1 indicates an unlocked source. Bits 6 to 7, sample rate. These bits are redundant when real-time audio is transmitted the receiver can observe the sample rate directly, but are useful if AES-3 data is recorded or otherwise stored. Options are unspecified, 48 kHz the default, 44.1 kHz, and 32 kHz. Byte 1, indicates if the audio stream is stereo, mono or some other combination. Bits 0 to 3, indicates the relationship of the two channels, they might be unrelated audio data, a stereo pair, duplicated mono data, music and voice commentary, a stereo sum, difference code. Bits 4 to 7, used to indicate the format of the user channel word. Byte 2, audio word length. Bits 0 to 2, aux bits usage. This indicates how the aux bits time slots 4 to 7 are used. Generally set to 0002 unused or 0012 used for 24-bit audio data. Bits 3 to 5, word length. Specifies the sample size, relative to the 20 or 24-bit maximum. Can specify 0, 1, 2 or 4 missing bits. Unused bits are filled with zero, but audio processing functions such as mixing will generally fill them in with valid data without changing the effective word length. Bits 6 to 7, unused. Byte 3, used only for multi-channel applications. Byte 4, additional sample rate information. Bits 0 to 1, indicate the grade of the sample rate reference, per AES 11. Bit 2, reserved. Bits 3 to 6, extended sample rate. This indicates other sample rates, not representable in byte 0 bits 6 to 7, values are assigned for 24, 96, and 192 kHz, as well as 22.05, 88.2, and 176.4 kHz. Bit 7, this, sampling frequency scaling flag. If set, indicates that the sample rate is multiplied by 1 over 1.001 to match NTSC video frame rates. Byte 5, reserved. Bytes 6 to 9, 4 ASCII characters for indicating channel origin. Widely used in large studios. Bytes 10 to 13, 4 ASCII characters indicating channel destination, to control automatic switchers. Less often used. Bytes 14 to 1732 bit sample address, incrementing block to block by 192, because there are 192 frames per block. At 48 kHz, this wraps every 24 hours 51 minutes 18.485333 seconds. Bytes 18 to 21, as above, but offset to indicate samples since midnight. Byte 22, contains information about the reliability of the channel status word. Bits 0 to 3, reserved. Bit 4, if set, bytes 0 to 5, signal format, are unreliable. Bit 5, if set, bytes 6 to 13, channel labels, are unreliable. Bit 6, if set, bytes 14 to 17, sample address, are unreliable. Bit 7, if set, bytes 18 to 21, timestamp, are unreliable. Byte 23, CRC. This byte is used to detect corruption of the channel status word, as might be caused by switching mid-block. Generator polynomial is x8 plus x4 plus x3 plus x2 plus 1, preset to 1.
Topic. Embedded timecode SMPTE timecode timestamp data can be embedded within AES-3 digital audio signals. It can be used for synchronization and for logging and identifying audio content. According to John Ratcliffe's timecode, a user's guide, it is embedded as a 32-bit binary word in bytes 18 to 21 of the channel status data. Topic. See also ADAT Lightpipe AES-2ID MADI, an extension with many more channels. Topic. References Topic. Further reading European Broadcasting Union, Specification of the Digital Audio Interface the AES, EBU Interface Tech 3250E 3rd Edition 2004. Watkinson, John 2001. The Art of Digital Audio 3rd Edition. Focal Press. ISBN 0-240-51587-0. Watkinson, John August 1989. The AES, EBU Digital Audio Interface. UK Conference, AES, EBU Interface. EBU02. Emmett, John 1995. Engineering Guidelines, the EBU, AES Digital Audio Interface. PDF. EBU. AES2ID2006, AES Information Document for Digital Audio Engineering. Guidelines for the use of the AES-3 interface, downloaded from the AES Standards website, see external links. Mark Young, June to July 2005. AES-3 Channel Status Revisited. PDF. Lineup, 101, 20-22. Archived from the original PDF on 1 May 2015. Retrieved 1 September 2013. AES-3, AES-EBU Channel Status Byte Settings. Topic. External links Download page for AES standards